What's up, y'all? We're back here with the Aaron Gordon Podcast. I'm here with my longtime friends, the K-Twins. What's up? Hey! It's the K-Twins. <laughs> Everything is always in sync with y'all. So, you know, talk about your guys' upbringing <laughs> and uh, you guys growing up as twins. What was that like, you know, you know, growing up since the womb? Um, so for us, at, well, for me, actually, growing up personally, I never really liked being a twin. Um, I didn't like the attention. I didn't like um, just I, really the attention and like going out and like all eyes on us. I didn't really like that. Um, and I didn't really care for having like a twin sister. But growing up, um, I feel like we both kind of started to appreciate how much, um, well, how great it is to have a twin mm -hmm. because it's like a built in best friend. You don't have to really have any friends if you don't want to. Like, I have yeah. somebody right here with me who's always going to be there same age we like all the same things so now it's like the best thing in the world um i think that just came with maturity too yeah we basically i feel like when i hit age like 17 18 i started to realize like mm -hmm. how special it was yeah, and we got closer yeah we've gotten so close since like probably like senior year of high school mm -hmm. because we were just like we had every class together we were working yeah. together mm -hmm. um, yeah. and not on purpose we had every single class together our senior year of high school. Yeah. And since then, like, we've just gotten so much closer. Mm -hmm. We tell each other everything. Like, we're, like, the same person, basically. <laughs> it's weird, but yeah. it's it's fun. And it's yeah. it's just a really, like, special mm -hmm. connection. Like, we get each other really well. Yeah. So, it's So, fun. you know, talking about that, like, what was it like, you know, when you guys went to school? Did you guys, like, ha do, do each other's homework, you know, go in the same class? Or, you know, you do any of that crazy stuff that people – always like to say yeah. that happens <laughs> um see a lot of questions we get like that people will ask us like did you guys switch classes or stuff yeah. no we never really did we were we, we tried were, once we were goody tish tissue so how you say that we weren't like we didn't yeah. ever really try to do that because we were scared but yeah i think we tried to it was once. like in six, it was like in fifth or sixth grade yeah and one of the teachers knew us apart and she what was teacher? like you guys are in the wrong line what teacher at Westland? No, it was that um, we went to McClellan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, K through yeah. sixth grade. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's like um, Ben Davis Township. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so one of the teachers had knew us apart because we had been there since kindergarten. Yeah. So, but other than that, we didn't, yeah, we didn't really try to because we had every class together. So we couldn't really do too much switching. Cause... Yeah, because the teachers would like, they made sure mm -hmm. too. They would and make some sure. of them would like split us apart. So yeah. They, so they could tell us apart. Right. Yeah. It was yeah. too confusing to have us next to each other. Yeah. So talk about your famous, um, you know, mom twin and me moment, something that, you know, pretty much half the world knows about, you know, talk about that moment. Yeah. Well, so um, it all started when we were about 16. I think we were mm -hmm. like sophomores or juniors in mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. And I think that, I think me and my mom, so we were probably juniors. Mm -hmm. I think me and my mom were picking up Kyla from cheer practice um, because I wasn't on the team anymore. So we were picking her up and we were just picking her up like just a regular day in the car. And I was like, hey, let's take a selfie. Like we don't have any pictures together. Mm -hmm. And we just took the picture and I remember posting it on Snapchat. And I was like, mom tuning me. I just said mom tuning me. Mm -hmm. And um, a bunch of people were commenting on it. And this girl ended up taking it and posting it on Twitter. And so her, her tweet was getting like a lot of retweets. And at the time, I had like 100 followers on Twitter. We had just made a Twitter. Yeah, already. because I had just made a Twitter. And then I was like, well, let me post it. I don't have any followers. Mm -hmm. So I posted it and not expecting anything. I just posted it. And it went crazy. And I yeah. I knew that everybody knew our mom looked really young. All the boys always should have talked to her, like, in <laughs> high school. But, like, we didn't – I didn't know it was going to do all that. Like, And at the time, I was I was at practice, and my phone was broke at the time. So she, I remember she didn't being even at know. cheer practice, and people were like, girl, you're, like, going viral on Twitter. I'm like, what? Because I didn't even know what Twitter was. Like yeah, that, we had <laughs> just made point. a Twitter. We barely knew how to work Twitter. Yeah. Um, we barely had social media at the yeah, time. Yeah, we didn't. We, well, we had Instagram, I think, but it, we weren't like into it. Yeah. yeah um, Instagram so came out when you guys crazy. were like in seventh grade. Yeah. yeah so we so. had just, yeah. Because yeah, I was I in think eighth I grade. Snuck in that one, but I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I remember um, my mom coming home from work and I was like, um, Mom, I think we just went viral. And she was like, Girl, no, we didn't. I was like, Yes, we did. 
And I showed her and it was like just like millions of views. And then like that's when we started getting calls yeah. to do like interviews. I think we were at and, um we were at some after school something in high school. And we were all sitting there and I remember Kaylin, her phone was like glitching because of how many DMs she was getting. And mm. it was so many like people from like different news stations and all these TV places. And we thought it was fake. We were like, there's no way they yeah. want to talk to us. <laughs> yeah. And so she responded to them and they, it was real. We were on like so many like um, radio stations in Dubai yeah. and then like in Steve Harvey, we went on Steve Harvey. And yeah, mm-hmm. I still can't believe that happened. That doesn't even feel real to me now Yeah, like, at all. That so. was pretty crazy. It was pretty weird too, mm-hmm. like especially in school because like, I mean, we weren't really shy, but we were kind of like timid. We kind of like kept to ourselves in mm-hmm. high school. Mm-hmm. So like, I remember one of my teachers, my Spanish teacher, I came in the class one day and he had the picture blasted on the board. On the board, <laughs> and I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, I was so embarrassed. He was like, look at this, everybody, how cool is this? And I was like, oh my god, like, yeah, it it was it was. It, it was all happened fun, really, but it was overwhelming because it all happened time. so fast. And we yeah. weren't used to, I mean, we were used to the attention because we were twins, twins. but when that happened, it was just a whole new level. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's like, you know, when you see numbers, you know, it's like, okay, you see like, okay, a million views. But when it's like, actually like, you know, people coming up to you in person. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's, like, it's weird at it's first. It's different, But yeah. then we learn to just kind of like get used to it and, you know, just, you know be yeah. civil and speak to people so yeah it, sure. it turned into a good thing yeah <laughs> so what was that process like when you guys went on steve harvey so um they dm'd caitlin on twitter right mm-hmm. and then um they flew us out and then where was that in chicago mm-hmm. at yeah. the time i think the studio was in chicago it's now in somewhere else yeah um and then we just Talked to the lady on the phone before, met with this lady, this, that same lady that we talked to when we got there. Um, and I just remember, remember being in the green room and yeah. just remember like seeing, oh, actually, Hillary Clinton was there the same day we were there. And oh, we yeah. had to go on lockdown Dang. because nobody could like? go out the room when she was there. So, Crazy. So basically, like, we were in the <laughs> green room. I think it's called the green room. Yeah, we were yeah, in the there room. like... So we're we're about to go on, and before mm-hmm. before all this, like they did our hair, makeup, they mm-hmm. like picked out our outfits, outfits. they styled mm-hmm. us, um, and so we're waiting to go on. We're in the room, like super nervous. And there's like a TV in the green room, and I'm just looking like, yeah, I can't so that's about to yeah, we're watching happen. Hillary Clinton and other people go on. We're like, we're really like here. It, it's still right now. <laughs> still doesn't doesn't feel like we we did yeah. it. Yeah, like we're I like we're really it, about to go I think on it TV. Kind of clicked to me when like um. So you know how you see on movies like where they're sitting in those chairs before you're about to go on stage. Like yeah. I didn't know that was a little thing. Oh yeah. So we were. I just remember sitting in the chairs, getting touched up, and there was a big mirror in front of us. And I just remember looking in the mirror, and I seen Steve Harvey walk behind us, and I'm like, Kaylin, like this is real. I was like that is Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah. We didn't meet him until it was time to go on. Mm-hmm. And um, he's really nice. He's he's huge in person. He's tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've really met funny. him in person. Yeah, yeah, really. Huge. Yeah, it. Yeah, it was. It was so weird, mm-hmm. and it it didn't hit until then. Really, yeah. it didn't. And hit it still it. hasn't really clicked. To right. Me yeah. Still to this day. And then I remember just going on, and we were nervous. Yeah. We, like really nervous. We were like stuttering the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it was messing up everything. It was I I really good thing it wasn't live because yeah. Did you guys I rehearse for it? I don't like to watch. We did. Yes, but we messed up. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, they ended up, you know, working it out. But I remember messing up a couple times, a couple, like, a few times. Lines, like yeah. I was just so nervous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, what was I about to say? You said. You so, know, what was it like when you came back to school the next day after being on Steve Harvey? Um, so, I don't remember. Well, a lot of people didn't know until it went like until it went live because we weren't allowed to speak on it until like after the fact. Yeah. So when people did find out, um. I just remember, like, a lot of, like, the, because we were juniors, I think, Mm -hmm. a lot of, like, the freshmen would come up to us, because, you know, people our age already know us, so, like, the freshmen who didn't know us, they would come up to us. They didn't know we went to that school. Yeah, they didn't know we went to that school, and some people didn't Mm -hmm. even know that we were twins. People would think that, like, we were just the same person. Yeah. Yeah. Or that we lived in Indiana. Yeah, so people were, like, I didn't even know you guys went here, like, Mm -hmm. I saw you on the show, or, like, a lot of people told us that their parents saw us on the news, like, everybody was just, like, talking about how they seen us on tv yeah so it was 
it was and it then was like we kind of like I don't know what we kind of like I feel like I was kind of just I kind of to get like kind of like overwhelmed yeah like mm-hmm. in a shit mm-hmm. I was just like mm-hmm. it was a lot because yeah. like we already because it all happened all that happened in like the span of a cow long like a month yeah like it was very very fast and mm-hmm. so like obviously like if you've never done anything like that before it's like you're not used to that because yeah. small attention like in the store mm-hmm. like oh yeah this one's like yeah whatever and then but that i'm like that kind of spectrum it was just like whoa it was like, crazy this is crazy yeah so <laughs> so you know talk about um you know just your your huge social media following obviously you guys also blew up on TikTok. I know that's the, the latest and newest one. You know, talk about your love for TikTok <laughs> yeah. and, you know, you've grown your social media following. So, so TikTok, it's, we kind of, I think we made that like last year. My mm-hmm. uncle was, I, I, had, I hadn't heard of it. My uncle yeah, was Yeah, a lot like, of people don't know that TikTok has been around since like 2012. It's, it's, it's yeah. an old it app. Didn't it, used to be, didn't it used to be Musical.ly and it, yeah. it's now TikTok? Yeah, yeah cause so my brother. Because yeah, my brother used to live in China, and like they were talking about oh. TikTok like years and years ago, but all of a sudden it just it just blew up for quarantine, pretty much. Really? <laughs> and see, our uncle yeah. he lives in Japan, so I wonder if he knew about it he, before us because yeah, he he, yeah. he lived in Japan, and he was like, "There's mm. this cool app called TikTok. You guys should download it." Mm. We downloaded TikTok, and the first video we posted got like three hundred thousand views it was just a video of me and kyla like yeah in our room literally just, sitting no we were sitting on this couch weren't we oh i think so and it was just mm-hmm. like this random yeah. video and it got like three hundred thousand views so um and we had stopped posting on there for a minute and mm-hmm. then we we i think we gained like fifty thousand followers in like a week mm-hmm. and then um we and were then like, it started to get bigger yeah like, so we were like let's use this to like we can use it to help promote our youtube channel and mm-hmm. just you know mm-hmm to really like start get off ourselves out there yeah get ourselves mm-hmm. out there and so i think like just probably i would say probably like maybe two three months ago we really started posting like more mm-hmm. and more like and we did that video with our mom the savage um oh. challenge and i forgot about that that's what really i think set it off for yeah. us. that beginning. we posted that on um twitter and that mm-hmm. got five million views on twitter mm-hmm. which that took us forever to do by the to way to make yeah <laughs> to teach her yeah it was really fun and um yeah we we've always danced but like t- tiktok's just a fun way for us to like we were bored yeah. just like do fun cute dances mm-hmm. and like make up stuff yeah so yeah so obviously like i know what it's like uh you know being around your mom because you know i've you know live near you guys mm-hmm. for so many years but you know yeah. was it like having mm-hmm. a mom so young and like cool and hip like that i mean because most people's moms are normally <laughs> a lot older and you know it's kind of right. like a parent you know child relationship you know was it like right to kind of have her she's kind of like well, you guys a big sister but she's yeah she's well, kind of like yeah our mom she actually isn't really into social media yeah. at, at all yeah. like yeah. The, only the only reason she's on there is because of us because we are like mom mm-hmm. do this with us yeah and, and she like, definitely lets us know that i'm not your friend i'm not your yeah. sister i'm your mother so <laughs> yeah we treat her that way and um we do have a really close relationship and mm-hmm. we're so appreciative and grateful for that yeah um but it, she, it is weird sometimes like like when i see her and like i'll be like you you just look so young i'll yeah. just look at her like <laughs> Like, if she, like, is sitting a certain way or, like, if she's, like, mm-hmm. I'll be like, Mom, you look like a kid. And she'll be like, girl, I'm she'll, like, kid. laugh. She'll, like, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it is weird, but, like, we see her as a mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's, like, because that's, I mean, that's all we've known her as. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think I didn't really start to see her, or not see her differently, but just, like, see you know, what everybody else saw. Yeah, until, until we, we started went, getting that attention. I was yeah. like, oh, you do kind of look young. I didn't really realize that. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. But, I mean, she... She is cool. She is yeah, pretty she cool. Is cool. She it's is. fun to teach her stuff. It's funny. It's hilarious because yeah. even though she looks young, she still acts her age. Acts her age. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So, so talk about funny. some of the it's new awesome. business opportunities you guys have done because I know on your social media, you guys talk about so much business stuff that you guys are doing and, and um, have done. So, you mm-hmm. know, talk about some of that. Um, so we recently just signed with a management now. Mm-hmm. Um, who actually our manager is actually in partner with Steve Harvey, which is 
funny how that works because we were on Steve Harvey. Yeah. Um, and then we recently worked with, well, we work with Pretty Little Thing now to just mm -hmm. promote some content on our Instagram. So that was really cool for us because that's one of our favorite companies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much some of the things that we've done now mm -hmm. and just other basic Instagram promotion and stuff like that. Yeah. And for like future, we're, I don't know if we can say like, yeah, know. you guys I mean, don't have to give me like, everything for the future because I know some things are, you know, non <laughs> non disclosure. Uh -huh. But yeah, um, you know, what are I, I guess I could ask like, what are some ideas that have been, mm -hmm. you know, been talked about? Not necessarily, you know, stuff that is, you know, already set. Yeah, that you so guys. So some do. ideas, some ideas that we want to do and that we've talked about um, is definitely like getting into like selling cosmetics and just mm -hmm. maybe some merch. Mm -hmm. um which is something that we're like tr slowly trying to get so is that going to be your your um, own uh k-twins brand yes 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 mm -hmm. so how is that going to go about exactly yet but... oh, okay so we we can't say a lot about that okay uh we can really only yeah we can really only say that like we're trying to like get into it mm -hmm. um i wish we could but we can't yeah and then just stay tuned yeah <laughs> And then we're also like, oh, go you guys know. Okay. Sorry, we're also like really big on like YouTube. We've been trying to post every single day except like the weekends. Mm -hmm. And um, we we even talk about sometimes maybe like doing like some form of like a podcast or like mm -hmm. a girl talk on our channel because mm -hmm. we can, love to talk. Yeah, we can talk a lot. Like we. So like we had, we just have so much to say about like certain issues mm -hmm. like that's going on right now. Just in like, yeah. we feel like we can give advice to girls like us or younger girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's something that we're into too. Yeah. yeah. YouTube mm -hmm. is a big way. And for modeling. Us to, modeling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's something else we're trying to get to. Yeah. Get into so sure. what are some of the, you know, the modeling things that you guys want to do? Do you guys want to be freelance or you guys want to sign with a company? Um, um. I would love to sign with an agency, but um, honestly, if we were just, you know, able to just do, like, some things here and there. I wouldn't like, mind being freelance. Yeah, because, because we could do, you know, because, like, the thing with us is we are open to so many things. We don't want to just so many different things on box. So, yeah. we would want to do commercial or um, just anything. Yeah. Instagram modeling is kind of a form, too, nowadays, mm -hmm. so... Um, we're really open to do a lot of things. Yeah. So I would say freelance. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So pretty much like what are some of the things that you would tell, you know, other up and coming, you know, social influencers or, you know, twins that grow up, you know, what are some of the things that you would tell them who are younger and, you know, really look up to you? Um, so can you know first? Yeah. So I would say, um, and this sounds so cliche, but I would honestly say go after your dreams, follow your dreams. Um, because all it takes is for you to have that vision, like anybody else, like people, you know, you can see, you can see your full potential. Um, other people can't, or well, they, other people can. I well, like other, well, well, I, I mean, in the sense of like, when you share an idea, people might be like, what? You know, right. Okay, that, yeah. who, that happens to some people. It's like, but if you go after your dreams and really work towards your goals, you can achieve anything you want to. And that's what we're doing. Like, mm -hmm. we're, yeah. yeah. And I will also say to twins to um, get like, get to know your sister, get really close to your, you know, your twin brother, sister, and be really close with them because that is the best relationship you can have. Really special relationships. So I would say um, keep your twin sister, brother close to you no matter what. Um, they're going to be the realest on your team. So mm -hmm. that would be my advice. Yeah. For me, I would say always um, stay true to you, stay true to yourself, yeah. and do what makes you happy. Do what you want to do. Um, I like. I feel like you know when you're like going viral and doing like certain things, like mm -hmm. people are going to talk bad about you. People are going to laugh at you. People are going to say it's corny, it's childish. But you have to do what you want to do, like. Mm -hmm because there are people who will like it. Like, even mm -hmm. though the people, like, you may see the people around you or people who go to your school, you know, like, oh, whatever. But like, there are people who are out there who are really interested, mm -hmm. you know, they may be interested in whatever you have to bring to the table. Yeah, so I would say like, just do what you want to do. Don't do what you think is like cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's one thing about us. Like, 
we never have tried to fit in. We always do whatever we want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, we always. I will also say say too. Um, kind of going off that. It's just I would say don't. I know this sounds weird, but um, don't think about it too deeply. I would just say like don't um, get too deep into social media because now- mm-hmm. nowadays it's, it's so easy for us, you know, younger people to get on Instagram and compare ourselves to people and want to be a certain way, look a certain way. I would just say, like you said, like mm-hmm. stay true to you. Um, as long as you, you know, have faith in yourself, have faith in God and just keep your vision. Um, yeah. You'll, you, you'll do whatever you need to do. You'll succeed. And speak positively. Do you about feel like you guys right struggled with that earlier on? I feel like I definitely did. With what? Um, like comparing like, yourself? Mm-hmm. On social media. So growing up, I feel like just as a young girl, I was just always kind of like insecure, just like basic, you know, insecurities mm-hmm. and stuff. So it's in having social media makes it so much easier to feed into that because you go on Instagram, you see what looks perfect mm-hmm. and um, what, the, what the beauty standard is. Right. And those are just pictures. So you don't know these people. Mm-hmm. So when I say, you know, just be true to you, I, I that's what I kind of mean because it's like all that social media stuff is just, it's not real in a sense um, mm-hmm. because those are just pictures and people have real lives. People are still human. So yeah. for me, it was, for me, it was more of like comparing each other. Yeah. That like too. I feel like I did that. Like just comparing like because we're together so much and like people and with, then people compare us yeah when too. they first see us that's the first thing they do you know when you see twins like oh what's yeah. different how can I tell them apart which is understandable yeah which is understandable but then I would d- start to do it myself and that's not good yeah um but we're way better with that now yeah way better <laughs> we've, we've learned to just be like you know what you have this I have this and that's okay we're our own people and right it's beautiful either way mm-hmm. so yeah for sure Thank you guys for joining on this podcast. Tell everyone where they can follow you. Thank you for having me. Um, um, So my Instagram is ky.vm underscore. And mine is kaylin.mahomes. And then our YouTube is ktwins. Yep. The letter K twins. All right, for sure. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll have another episode for you guys shortly. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.